Yo, what's up guys, your boy I'm mean, already know. Right now we're gonna continue our let's play of Star Fox Adventures. And last time I don't actually don't remember where we were last at, but hey, uh I think we can figure out where to go, right? Last time what did we do last time? Um I think we talked to the the Irish guy over there. Here, my we can't do this just yet. We have to wait until we come back from our next destination. Yeah, this stone guy told us something. I can't remember what it was he told us, but if memory serves right, we need about 85 or so scarabs. We have 47. Well, we now have 58, so. Ouch. Uh, let's get some more. We gotta make sure we properly quit we head the uh to I guess Cape Claw yeah Cape Claw that's where we're going. We're going to Cape Claw. Alright. Come back here. Alright, hey, we're ready to go. Alright, um Which way is Cape Claw? Uh I think Cape Claw's down here actually. Well that's why we have signs there of course we gotta read them. By the way, let me equip the fire skill. Yep, Cape Claw is this way. Good. So far, so good. How are we up on time? <laughs> we got plenty of time. A minute 45 has passed. Okay, excellent. Let's go. Now, one of the one of the things that really pissed me off about this, like the people who talk about this game, they say that this game is not like the original Star Fox games, and uh, they don't like it for that. But when you see visuals like this and the environments so fresh and lively. I can't, I can't help but call those people idiots, because honestly, a game like this deserves to be, you know, praised. You know, it may not be the original Star Fox, but it's still a good game. I mean, some people are just heartless. I can't understand them. Anyway, if you go left, that's obviously a trap. See how um, I can't proceed any further, so you have to go right. I remember as a kid, I couldn't figure this out because, you know, I was stupid. But um, now, now I, I understand. It's pretty simple. You just go right each time. And even if you come back... You still go right, and then, you know, it's pretty simple, actually. Anyway, Life for the Village is this way. Maybe you're thinking, I thought we were going to Cape Claw, but Life for the Village is on the way to Cape Claw. And I love these sort of Halloween field type lanterns here. It's lovely. Illuminates our path. The music is nice here, too. Anyway, this is Life for the Village here, I believe. We could go check it out in a little bit, but... Oh god, I, f I forgot about these. And oh look, he hit it for us. Sweet. <laughs> kill this guy. He wants a piece of the papa. <laughs> I'm going to have to kill him. I <laughs> did never learn. Anyway, I forget the order. I think it's this, and then this, and then this. Perhaps. No. Well, there's only six ways to hit it, right? So, let's, let's try... Oh. Well, one of those ways, must I must have done one of those ways right, because, hey, it worked. Mm. Alright. So, we can check it out real quick. Actually, first, let's... Let's find the, uh... Our fuel cell meter is going off here. Let's figure this out. Where is it? There it is. There's two of them. Okay. Alright, now let's check this place out real quick. This is our next place, I believe, after Cape Claw. Just a small little preview. And this, oh, I remember this so well. One of the reasons I could not get past this game is because of this mini game that I will get into detail later. And, oh man, I'm telling you right now, that mini game right there, hard. I don't want to spoil it right now because, you know, it'll be great once I actually go in detail as to what it is. And what is this? A wooden block carving? Huh. You know, I don't think we we're supposed to pick this up yet, but hey, who cares, really? Uh, let's see, the water here is not poisonous, but it has a lot of hurtful whirlpools. Uh, there are some stone patches on the floor that are not, are not active yet, so we can't really do anything about that just yet. Let's see what's up here. Um, hmm. What is up here? Nothing. Some tiki towers or something. Whatever you call these things. Huh. 
yeah, we we can't do anything here. This is just a small preview as uh, as to what's to come. And yeah, you're not trapped. Don't worry. The gate will open up and allow you passage. Hmm. Well, I I got I gotta kill him. He he is um, the father of this place. You know, a lot of people like the spring, the summer, and I can understand people like the winter. My favorite time of the year is definitely the autumn. And that's not only because I was born that time, but it's just something about it. Okay, yeah. There's the 60 scares. Ugh, gross. How many scares do we have? Okay, we have 28, so we have plenty. That's all we'll need. Uh, I love mazes, but... I... something... I just kind of want to explore all of this just to, so I can get a decent understanding as to what's the layout of this place. Um, hmm. Whoa, whoa. This is a dead end problem. Yep. Okay. This music is very soothing. Whoa, so this is. Okay. Gonna restore my health. Yes. Oh, that's it. It's a pretty simple layout. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Where is this? This is on the way to Cape Claw. Look at this. Some Alice in Wonderland junk. It's almost like this is like a well or something, but it's not a well. So what is it? There are fuel cells at the bottom of this, I remember that much. There are some... Three fuel cells at the bottom and... What else is here? Hmm. I don't know what else. Okay. Oh! Wait, I, I hear a fuel cell. There it is. There's one here. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's another one at the bottom. Oh, that's a longer drop than I had anticipated. Whoa, there's one. Come on. That's what I say. I was like, come on. I totally got that. There's another one here. Oh, so there was only two at the bottom. Hmm. Okay. Let's leave. Cobblestone walls. It's a nice place. You know, it's a really nice place. And this uh, this game features some very nice visuals. I don't understand why it has such a low rating. Okay, let's see. I think maybe this way is the right way to go. I think. Perhaps. Yeah, I think so. I hope so, anyway. I don't want to waste time. God, this guy Fox climbs so slow. It's my only complaint in this game. But hey, if you think about it realistically, you're not going to be climbing the stairs, the ladders, really fast, are you? So I guess I shouldn't be giving him help. Why right, is that way? That's the exit. Strong winds I hear. And this leads to Cape Claw. This is an awesome place. There's so many things to do here, but we can't really do anything. Oh, cancels B. It says right there, it cancel B. Anyway, let's take a look around. We see some kind of diplodocus over there. Whatever that is. And Something over here too, but you can't really see it very well. It's a cage monster. Ha! <laughs> Maybe we'll see a little closer what it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's right. What? He blocks faster than I thought. Okay. Wow, this guy can block. Okay, good. He left himself. Yeah, fighting game tactics one on one. 
attack. Strike! Wall Fox, stop hitting. He's dead. It's all good. Perfect. Hmm. Looks like Tricky is uh, feeling something. Uh, maybe a sixth sense. Something evil. A bad omen. And I noticed in the cutscene there was something over here. There's a. It's here, right? Yes, it's here. There was a fuel cell right here in the cutscene. Oh my god. Okay, excuse me for a second. I'm about to kick this thing's ass. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. You don't just hit me and expect to get away with it, son. You gotta, you gotta empty up some, 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 some kind of punishment. And there's another fuel cell down there. Let's see if we can reach it. Oh, just barely. Oh, looks like we have to do it again. Sucks, right? Anyway, let's go. It's hitting nighttime with a purple sky. What the fuck? Really, really weird. That's awesome. I wish we had purple skies. What the fuck? We just get nothing but black and shit? Mad racist. Yo, what? Dude, oh my god, that is so stupid. Oh my god, I, I I hit that. I don't I don't understand. I completely clipped a little. That's stupid. Moon rises. A full moon tonight? What the shit? Cool. I think full moon's the only phase that this game knows. It ain't like Wind Waker. Nah, -uh, man. I'm just gonna hold hard up. Okay, there we go. Anyway, the Diplodocus, if I remember right, he wants four golden bars. You have to uh, look throughout this entire region and find four golden bars. This is the place we're supposed to go next, but as you can see, the ladder is not dropped. And we need that to, you know, to hit that switch so we can enter this little, you know, uh, place right there. What the heck? <sighs> Terrible. I apologize, this is uh, quite a terrible display of, I guess, skill. A fortitude, I don't know what to call this. Dude, what the Who is trying to hit us? They will die, okay? I assure you they will die. Don't worry, you can get yours coming, alright? Don't, don't worry about me. And this is a one of those disguise things that we don't have yet, but we will get in the next part once we do this section. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Try to hit me. Anyway, one of the gold bars is here, I believe, so you have to have a tricky find. And over here is the dangerous beast known as the Cloud Runner. Oops, I shouldn't say that just yet. Uh, gold bar. Yes. <laughs> Fox, so. See, now I understand why he's so happy. That makes sense. He's happy. He found a gold bar. He can sell for like mad cash and shit, but. All the other times, he finds like a little seed on the floor. He gets really ecstatic. Makes no sense to me. Oh, yeah. Feels good to kill it. Anyway, we can't go here. This is another power-up like we saw in the beginning of the game. We can't access it yet. But we will soon, I promise you guys. And I feel so. Excellent. I didn't even know that was there. Let's get some more scarabs. We don't need it, but we'll get it anyway. Why not? Free money, right? Find. Find. I think. What is this? Another gold bar, perhaps? Ah, oh, buff and dot. And I think we have ten now. Let's see. Do we have ten? How do we check that? Oh yeah. We do the start, and then. Yeah. Okay. So we're full. You know what? I'm not even gonna care about the buff and dot spirits, because honestly. That sucks. I mean, I don't, I don't want to constantly kill myself to just collect them. Tends to maximum, right? Bad guys. Is there a way to hit him better? Like, maybe when he's trying to attack me. Yeah, there you go. Better. So you block everything. Oh, sucker. Oh, kill you. Right. 
come here. Fine. And he, he, I said no, I need to feed him. I forgot. I was looking for that actually. There you go. Guy's always hungry, man. I gotta feed this guy. Where does he keep it all? I don't know. Just in case. Where is it? Alright. Very nice. I like the design of this place. And the music too. Is really nice. Was he trying to headbutt me? Sucker. Boom, man. Give up. Good. Piece of the pop, man. That never fails me. Fine. What is this? Another gold bar, I presume. Yes. So I think we have three. Do we have three? Uh, three. Okay. Where's the last one? Okay, it should be on the island over there where um, the thing attacked me. It's a peaceful place. Looks like a good vacation spot too. Why can't I pass through here? That's stupid. There's enough room for me to squeeze in. Hey, hey, stop. I don't want to fight you, just let me get through and find this gold bar, wherever it is. There it is. Should be this right here. Excellent. More scarabs is always a good thing. Now, I believe the soldier there on the platform charges up 25 scarabs, but you don't need to go through him because there's a path over there you can't really see. It's on the right, on right, right under the bridge or near under the bridge, and it's a rocket boost pad. You can just get up there without paying money. We will pay him just in you case. Pad, but don't tell boss. Yeah. It takes a sweet ass time just to get out the way. My god. It takes up 60% of the damn. Oh! Where else did you see him? Do you want to start turning me, man? You don't want this. Look at this. Perished. Anyway, it's down here or something. Rocket boost pad. I remember this because uh, for some reason. I, I guess I didn't know how to play this five years ago. And. Uh, <laughs> You know what? I'm never mind. I don't even know where I was going with that point. You know, I talk to him. He's gonna be like, "Oh, I'm missing my golden bars." Sharp claw, we're coming to Cape Claw. I hid my precious gold deep below the sands. My memory's not what it used to be, though. And now I've forgotten where I buried them. With the help of your little friend, you should be able to find them. Return all four gold bars, and I will help you on your quest. Calm down, Tricky. Uh, I don't know what he needs four gold bars for. So, dude, he's a dinosaur. I mean, what's wrong with scarabs? I thought those were the, that was the currency there. What's he gonna need four gold bars? He's gonna buy himself a new voice? Anyway, there you go. <laughs> this thing just makes me laugh. I don't know. It's so funny. I must be psychic. He knew we were going there. I don't know why you just do that from the get-go. Shoot, man. If he had done that from before, then we would have... How come it's always us who has to step in to help? How come it's never the other way around? No one wants to help us. How about if you helped us, we could have given you the gold bars. But no, we always gotta do it the hard way. Sons of guns. Anyway, how much time has passed? 19 minutes? Should probably end the episode very soon here. I just want to show the next section here. There we go. Click. Oh, I hear crying. Yeah, we can't get here just yet. But mark my words, fellas. We will. Soon. Oh, no, you didn't. Anyway, where, you, where are you, Tricky? Come on. 
Good. Yes, nighttime is helpful to capture these guys. Captures these guys. I don't even know what I said there. Come on. Ah, <laughs> that current sucks. Right, this time, don't feel me now. X button and jump. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The dreaded room. Oh no. This place has awesome music. All right, you go in, you try to leave, and then. No, wait, this is to trigger a cutscene. Hmm. Maybe you do something like this and then leave? Yeah, okay, there we go. Good, good. Oh no, poison! The music is nice, though, I gotta, I gotta say. Pretty epic. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, poison! Alright, there we go. This is seriously life or death music right here, folks. Very nice. Too bad I am in a hurry and I can't really enjoy the song. Oh man. Swamp Fox. Oh, okay then. This music is really good. I can't even believe it. Still. Still touches me. Very deeply in the soul. Oh no, they've unleashed the beast. Well, yeah, that marks the end of this, this let's play, guys. I mean, the beast has been released. It is free. It will kill. Okay, there you go. Tricky is smart for leaving. Staying outside, actually. Where is it? There it is. Oh, crap! Oh! Whoa, a cloud <laughs> Don't worry, I'll save you. Away, cloud runner. Get away! Have you two met? He is an Earthwalker. I am a Cloud Runner. I don't like her Our posh accent. Our not see eye to eye. His father has probably been saying bad things about me. Oh, nice to know the father is discriminative. General Scales. Who else? You see, I am the queen of the Cloud Runner tribe and also hmm. its gatekeeper. That guy needs That's to be taught a time. lesson. Where is he now? <laughs> I agree, Fox. Let's he kick his ass. My powers to open a path to the Cloud Runner fortress. I must return there to help my tribe. Hmm. I'm gonna need that spellstone. Looks like you've got yourself company, lady. Cool. Peppy, I'm returning to the Arwing. Can you make sure it's ready for takeoff? Wait a minute. There's no way I'm going up to her fortress. Why the fuck not? Look okay, at he's like, you, you serious? Can sit this one out. We'll head back to Thorntail Hollow, and you can wait there for me to return. Yeah. I'll meet you at the fortress. What a dick. Good luck. Doesn't want to go to. Why? It's a learning, learning opportunity for you, young man. Why don't you go see what other worlds are like? Don't limit yourself to this fucking awesome planet. Go see what the other worlds have to offer. Anyway, since there is no faster method of travel, we have to go all the way back to Thorntail Hollow because we need to go back to the R Wing and take off to reach the Cloud Runner Fortress. I don't know why Tricky doesn't want to come with us. His father must have said some pretty nasty shit about the cl cloud runners to not want to come. Whoa, that was weird. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess Tricky's not coming with us then. Good riddance, damn it. He's always getting in my way. I blame everything on Tricky. All the fails, everything, Tricky's fault. Every single one of them. Yeah, but at least we get to go through the path again. We get to see the autumn. That's cool, right, guys? That's always cool. Lovely visuals for the eyes. Alright. Scanning for info? I don't. I, what does the scanning for info do? I'm trying to remember. Oh, that's if you're like in front of a box or something, right? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's. Oh, by the way. That's what I was for. I'll show you. I'll show it off. How the hell did you beat me up here? Huh? Interesting. This tricky guy is uh, defying gravity and physics and all we know and love. Uh, scanning for info? Well, this is a tree, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. And that is grass. 
These are what you call rocks. Alright. Where is Tricky? Is he following me? What the? Oh my god! <laughs> and that is what you call hacks and abomination. Bad, guy. Bad guys? Oh shit. Uh, that's what he meant. <laughs> okay, let's see if I remember the path. It's uh, this way and that. That. Okay, cool. Bad guys? Yeah, if you don't want to fight, just put away your weapon and you won't have to fight. Don't know why it didn't come to me last time, but hey. Sharp Claw. That's the info. Gotcha. But you can't, you cannot be locked on. I see. See, there you go. Sharp Claw Crate. This music is too good. Like, you don't understand. This cave reminds me a lot of Xenoblade Chronicles, which, by the way, I recommend that, ga that game to anyone who's into RPGs. Very, very good game. I honestly think that should be Game of the Year for, like, at least at least for Wii. I mean, there's tons of good games out, but Xenoblade, my god, that game is way too good. And, uh... We should end the episode soon, it's been 26 minutes, and once we go to the next planet, we should leave. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. Good. So far, so good. No, no interruptions. Oh, what the hell? That hitbox is too ridiculous. Get out of town. Oh, man. Sorry, didn't mean to hit you there, Tricky. Dang, these things don't work at night, do they? Yeah, they only active during the day. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm mistaken. Is that so? Well, why didn't anyone tell me this? Huh. Okay. They're not fully grown, but all I need is to pick them up, that's all. There you go. And now, let us leave! Yes, we have enough fuel cells. We have how much do we have? 44? Good. Let's leave. Excellent. Uh, Triggy, what are you doing? Come on, us. Didn't you say you didn't want to go? Huh. Well, I. <laughs> the argument's there. Shit. I thought he was going to stay here. Plot holes. Anyway, let's go. Bleed of grass. That's awesome. Cloud Runner, wait, it's right here. Cloud Runner Fortress has been attacked by General Scales and his sharp claw army. It would make an ideal base from which he could rule over the planet. The fortress stands on ground that is rich in gold and diamonds. Yeah. With this wealth, Scales would become unstoppable. Find the spellstone and save the Cloud Runner. Peppy out! Alright, I got you, Peppy. Let's kill him. Uh, I'm gonna challenge myself. Let's try this time. No, sh no shots, no shooting. Oh god, I can sense the fail coming already. All right, let's speed up with Y. Did I miss a gold ring already? Oh no, no, no. Okay. Oh, well, if you no shots, if you shoot those X's, they give you a gold ring. But I'm gonna try not to. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take his. I can't shoot. Okay. Ah, there we go. Good. Great job, Fox! Where are we? Where are this? Shit! Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, I see one down there. Oh, it's open? Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Forget that. If it's open, fuck that. I'm not taking any more damage. <laughs> Lowest score possible? How much we got? 230, 240? 210! Hell yeah! Okay, lowest score ever. Yes, I feel accomplished. Anyway, we are gonna end the episode here. Perfect, right on time. Look, 30 minutes exactly, almost. Alright, guys. Uh, uh, wait, 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 cousin. Wait, wait a minute. A minute, a minute, a minute, a minute. What am I this trying to say here? This is Cloud Runner Fortress. I'll fly ahead and check if it's safe. Meet me inside. You're gonna check. You're gonna check if it's safe. There's fucking enemies here. It's not safe, obviously. Anyway, uh, I don't know where Tricky is. I guess he's. Uh, he's gonna starve to death because we're not taking him with him. Anyway, guys, this is a good place to stop in this awesome place here, Cloud Runner Fortress. Next time, 
we will get on with the story and figure out what we're gonna do next. So check you guys out next time. Peace and keep it styling.